Hello and welcome to the stamp camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I have a one sheet wonder to show you. Yes, I am back with one sheet wonders. If you tune in every Saturday, you will find Saturday share one sheet wonder cards. Today I am going to show you a 12 by 12 one sheet wonder using the Bows of Holly designer series paper. We are going to get 10 cards out of one 12 by 12 sheet. Let's change the camera and get started. All right, ah, you see my setup. So I'm using the Leaves of Holly stamp set and the Bows of Holly designer series paper. This paper is gorgeous. You could do this one sheet wonder with any of the prints in the set. Um, they are double sided, gorgeous prints. I love it because you can use them in any direction that you need. I did create a template for my one sheet wonder using a window sheet. This was something new that I just started. I love that because you can place that window sheet on any designer series paper to see how your cutouts are going to look. So if it is a directional um, paper, this works great because then you can determine which direction you want your cutting to go in. It's hard to see with the glare, but you get the idea. I do have the PDF file of that on my blog, www.thestampcamp.com, that you can download and print. So let's get started on our 12 by 12 here. We're going to cut this up and we're going to create 10 cards. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off two inches. Doesn't matter which side you do that, but you're going to cut off two inches. You're going to take this piece and you're going to turn it at three inches. And you're going to cut it at three inches. So you're going to have four strips that are three inches by ten inches. We're going to take those and we're going to cut them at five inches. So you end up with eight cards that are three inches by five inches. And you're going to take this strip that is two inches and you're going to cut that down to five and a quarter. Actually, I should have cut that at five and a half. But that's all right. So I'll have one at five and a quarter and one at five and a half. And this little piece is the only piece you're not going to use. I will keep them like that. So now we have eight that are three by five, and we have two that are two by, you can either do five and a quarter or five and a half. Choice is yours. Then I have the coordinating evening evergreen, and I have eight that are cut three and a quarter by five and a quarter and I have two that are cut I want to say these are five and a half yes they are two and a quarter by five and a half I'll start with those little strips first so we're going to put new adhesive in my thing because I'm out I knew it was getting close so I had one laying out here on the table ready to go So we're going to attach those strips to our evening evergreen strips. Now this is the one I cut at five and a quarter and we want that to be at, you can do five and a quarter, five and a half, it really doesn't matter. The cards are going to be gorgeous just the same because these prints in this Bows of Holly Designer Series paper pack are gorgeous. All my card bases are the soft succulent. So there's eight of them that are five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. All right, so I have the two. Now you can put it down the center or you can put it off to the side. Choice is yours. I'll do them differently. So you can get the look. All right, let's get rolling here, ink or adhesive here. All right, so we're gonna put this one down the center. We'll put this one down the side. All 
if it is a little longer just come in with your scissors it's better to be a little long than too short that's my opinion anyway that side barely needed to trim All right, so there we have those two. Now, the sentiments are from the Leaves of Holly stamp set. I used the Stylish Shapes dies on some of my, I used the All That dies, and I created all these different layouts. I like to use, um, multiple dies and create cool mats. I did this particular die here comes from the coordinating. It goes with the stamp set. It is the leaves of holly. Let's see. Where did that go? Oh, right here. This is the bundle. It's the leaves of holly bundle. This frame right here is this one here. The circle is from the All uh, That dies. So I use these three and this oval, so four of the dies from here, to create all my sentiment mats. I love to use the different dies and coordinate them all together. So let's just grab some of these. I've already assembled them. And we'll just add some adhesive. Now, if you wanted to, you could pop them up. I'm just keeping them flat for mailing purposes. You can go across the center on these. There's lots of different ways to use these. These cards are going out to my customers who have placed orders with me in November, along with a little special gift inside. So if you wanna get a special card, and a little gift, make sure that you place an online order with me before the end of November. And you'll be getting a card for me with a little something something on the inside. So that's your first little group there. And let me get my next two card bases. Because then the rest of the pieces, even though they're cut the same, I'm going to show you how you can... Get a different look just by how you place it on the card stack. So I'm going to use two of these, and we're going to use two of our prints, and we're going to assemble. All right, so. Now all the rest of the card stack was all cut the same size. Remember, three by five. All right, so this group, what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna make them horizontal. So we're gonna put one at the top like that. And for this one, we're gonna make it horizontal and we're gonna put it towards the bottom. So you can put your piece at the top or the bottom, and then just come in with whatever tags, sentiments that you want. So I'll have the list of supplies for all the cards that I make today under the video under Show More. All the dies that I used, you can get the PDF file to, for the cutting layout on my blog. All right, so there's those two. Like I said, these are quick and easy, which we like, especially if you need a pile of Christmas cards. Like if you needed 150, this would be the technique to use. So now let's grab two more. So because these are all cut the same, if there's one layout that you really like better than the other, you can create all eight cards that are this size. 
cutting dimensions the same. Because like I said, I'm going to just show you different ways to lay these out. And you can, you can use them all different. You can use them all the same. If you like one layout better than the other, this one, I'm going to just center this down the center. So these will come down the center like so and then we'll just put some sentiments on you can pop them up like i said if you like to pop up i like to kind of keep it flat for mailing purposes but there you go that's the next group and card bases again all right we need two pieces again and two greens so let's put this together I love the reds and these greens are beautiful on the inside you could you want to place some white on the inside because it is the green is it's light enough to stamp and write on but I like to have it just a little bit easier on the eyes so I put white on the inside but there's tons of this designer series paper so you can add little strips of designer series paper on the inside you could also stamp on the in or stamp like the holly leaves from the stamp set on the inside there's lots that you can do we're going to do that one like that and maybe this one I'll put in the center so you can put it off to the side like this one you can put it in the center whatever you like now we're down to our final two didn't i tell you quick and easy all right and here's our final two Come on. If you haven't received this print, this paper pack yet, I tell you, it is one of my favorites. But then I do love the reds and greens and this evening evergreen and soft succulent. Gorgeous. So this one I'm going to put to this side. And then when I'm done, I'll show you all the different layouts. Because you might have forgotten what I did. I'm going to put that one in the center. And maybe I'll put that one off to the side. And I have leftovers because I am going to be making lots of these. All right, so there we have that. Let's see if I can get this all in for you. So this is with the paper to the right side. That one you won't see the top one, but that's okay. This is the same layout except for we put it all to the left hand side. All right, so we got right side, left side. This one, it's down the center. Then we had across the, doing them horizontally, top and bottom. And then we have our strips. So you can do five and a half long or you can do five and a quarter long. Either way works. So those are your 10 one sheet wonder cards for today 
So I hope you enjoyed this one sheet wonder. It makes great Christmas cards, quick and easy, but you can change the paper, do it for any occasion you have coming up. Maybe you wanna do a wedding or a bridal shower. It's a great way to make cards quick and easy. Love the layouts, love to layer up those die cuts and so you get nice, cool sentiment mats, I should say. So that is it for today. If you need any of those supplies, click on show more under the video and hit me up. Anyone that orders in the month of November is going to get one of these gorgeous cards in the mail with a little something something inside. So that is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.